Joining me now to talk about this and a few other subjects, stock market did very well today, or whatever was up, almost 350 points. We have David Bonson, managing partner of the Bonson Group and author of There's No Free Lunch. David Bonson, you have anything to add to that or any disagreement? Because, um, I, I mean, I think Bidenomics is a failure. Here, here's my point. Uh, you can look at a million pieces of data, or you can look at something of GDP. GDP is something that doesn't really affect ordinary people, okay? What's killing him in the polls and in the economy is the affordability failure. Affordability continues to decline. That's right. You're working harder and buying less with your money. And, you know, it may be oil now or food. And people can exclude that from these indexes, but that's what people use. I used to say that the stock market was the best indicator of whether or not a person would get reelected or the incumbent party would. And I did a study and it's been like 93 percent of the time uh, for 100 years. Real income, real wages is 100 percent of the time. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the biggest fa factor. If prices were higher and wages were higher than that, mm -hmm. it wouldn't matter as much. Mm -hmm. But to your point is the bottom deciles of wage earners, which were going up. In the prior administration, mm, yeah, the, the real lot. wages were going higher. Yeah. And I think that the biggest issue to me is, see, sometimes I think presidents get blamed they don't deserve. Bad circumstances, bad timing, macro, geopolitical. In this case, energy is the problem I have. I think he could have done something about it, mm. and he didn't. He did the opposite. He could have continued energy independence mm -hmm. prior administration. He chose to go the other direction. It doesn't hurt people like me that much. It hurts bottom earners a lot. David, come back on the stock market. Um, very bad last year. Yeah. Recovering this year. Yeah. A little jumpy. I mean, today was a good day. Um, I'm told it was an IPO for a chip maker that was driving stocks up over 300 points. What is your assessment to, about the stock market? How do you see it? I think that the S&P, which is tech heavy, seven companies driving most of the returns, the NASDAQ, which is essentially all tech, are very frothy, very rich, high valuation, hard to see how valuations move higher. Earnings growth might be flat year over year. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be up much. But in fairness, it wasn't down nearly as much as many had predicted. Year over year, it was down 4 or 5%. That's not recessionary. People thought it would be down 15 20%. However, companies have gotten better. Their margins are good. Uh, the Dow is a better diversified look at the whole economy and corporate profits. Our profits are multiples too expensive. In the S&P, yes. I think 20 times in the S&P. 20 That's in the S&P and really high with big tech. Yeah, really yeah, high. yeah. And so when you look at consumer staples, utilities, more boring companies that I like as a very boring person, <laughs> they're not so expensive. They're a little more realistic. But I want to say something, Larry, about your point. He inherited this economy. I, on real wages, Joe Biden said something fascinating a number of months ago. He said, since COVID began, real income is higher. Real mm. wages are higher. He, he took office a year later. Why would a politician ever pick a date that has nothing to do with their term in office? Mm. It's true. Real wages are higher since 2019. But that he wasn't president for, for two of those four years. Actually, though, uh, we just saw the latest income numbers. Real incomes or median families adjusted for inflation are about four thousand dollars lower than the pre-pandemic peak under Trump. That's a big number. That's that's right. Pre-pandemic. That's, that's the Kevin Hassett, uh, Tyler, uh, good buddy, Larry Kudlow, <laughs> tax corporate tax cuts. David, um, bond rates up or down? They're four and a quarter on the ten year. What uh, do you think? Uh, by when? <laughs> Tomorrow. Oh the end no, of the I year, don't have any short A year from, from now. I'm sad to say, bond by rate, election. How about that? By election, bond yields will be lower, and it's not just merely because inflation is coming down. It's because growth is coming down. Yeah. And it's because the market knows 10 years out, we're not getting 4% real GDP growth. We're going to be lucky to get 2% real GDP growth because we have spent ourselves into oblivion. I can get you to 4, buddy. I oh, can I know get you, could. you to 4. Deregulate. You're not on the ticket, my deregulate, friend. Deregulate. <laughs> liquid gold. Yeah. Reverse uh, 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 Biden's new regulations. Uh, extend the corporate tax cuts. More production of goods cuts. and services. Give, more energy. Give entrepreneurs a break after tax, after regulation, after the central planning. David Bonson, thank you.